Okay, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. Well, if you've been following the channel, you know I just released uh, four videos, which I uh, produced while I was down at Goat Mountain Astronomical uh, Research Station in Landers, California. I took my ASI 533MC Pro down there with my Xenostar Z61 Mod 2, uh, just to put some time on the new camera and um, you know one thing I enjoy about uh, astronomical imaging uh, is that while you're uh, sitting there and things are kind of running on auto mode uh, it gives you a lot of time to think and um, you know while I was down there uh, you know I thought about a couple of things uh, one I thought about I was using uh, Z61 Mod 2 to uh, try and uh, image galaxies, the uh, pinwheel M101 and uh, uh, M65 um, and the area, you know, that's called the Leo triplets and doing it with a 360 millimeter focal length scope is not really the right uh, pairing uh, to be hunting for galaxies. So, you know, I've been thinking about getting a larger scope, but that, uh, that means that I would need uh, probably a different mount. And now I want to say my Skywatcher HE5Q uh, uh, Pro, HEQ5 Pro, has been performing well for me. Uh, Yes, it's not the modified uh, version. It has the gears inside. And yes, I have to deal with backlash and everything. So, but I was sitting down there thinking, and I said, okay, uh, at a minimum this year, I got to really dig into guiding. Um, last year, I didn't think about it too much other than when I zoomed into my uh, lights, the, uh, the stars uh, continued to look uh, round, even on uh, doing five minute uh, um, subs. So um, this year though I want to understand guiding a bit more. Uh, there's a lot of information that's available I've, as I've displayed here from uh, what's available in uh, PhD2. Um, and then you know doing a search on the internet there's a lot of thoughts uh, if you saw one of my videos that I just released I was uh, I was comparing the uh, three-point alignment uh, polar alignment plug-in in Nina with the QHY pole master and you know a question I've had is you know what is an acceptable error and you know just going on cloudy nights you'll get a range of uh, responses and like most things I'm finding in astronomical imaging, uh, it's kind of the it depends kind of plays a role. You know, how do I have my uh, telescope in the saddle of the mount? You know, um, is it, uh, you know, pointing uh, straight? And, you know, when I look at the dovetail and how I have the telescope mounted in it, are the bolts off center. So there's a, a lot of factors uh, that can influence uh, my uh, guiding error. But since everything was kind of looking good as far as round stars and everything, I didn't think about it too much last year. But this year I want to understand it a little bit more. And um, so I'm thinking, okay, you know, I'm shooting galaxies with a 360 uh, millimeter focal length. I really need to go bigger. Um, I'd like to go with a uh, four inch refractor or maybe uh, a little bit larger. Um, but that takes me into then I really need uh, a different mount. So it's kind of putting the two together. I want to focus more on guiding this year. Uh, I want to uh, look at having a Galaxy Hunter style refractor for next year uh, galaxy season after the nebula run out in uh, January or February. So, you know, where does that lead me? And so what I've decided to do, uh, I saw uh, a classified ad for someone was selling a, uh, a EQ6 uh, R Pro uh, Skywatcher mount, really attractive price. 
and I started thinking about it. My HEQ5 I bought used, um, so not having a transferable warranty for my HEQ5 was not an issue. Uh, but then I started thinking, okay, now I'm going to be spending more money and I really want the protection of a two-year warranty because I want some assurance that uh, I'll be able to get parts for it. So anyway, uh, what I've uh, done is um, yesterday I placed an order with uh, OPT and I've ordered the Skywatcher EQ6-R uh, Pro uh, mount. Uh, so... Um, I'd like to, you know, I, I imagine I'll have it within, it was in stock, uh, I'll have it in the next few weeks, and then I'll start the process of checking the mount out. I'll do a couple of videos uh, around uh, the mount when I initially get it, but I'm going to the Golden State Star Party at the end of June up in Aden, uh, California area. Uh, if anyone's going to be up there, uh, let me know and we can meet up. So I'd like to have the mount available and performing uh, by that time. And then I thought, okay, I now will have a mount that will support a Galaxy Hunter style uh, telescope down the road. I'll also have a mount that is belt driven instead of gear driven. Uh, so uh, I should not have to deal with the uh, backlash inherent with uh, gears and so I think that's then the point to really start to dig into uh, guiding and guiding error and, and those aspects of uh, of uh, guiding you know once the uh, once I have the new mount so uh, I always like to keep people that are following the channel uh, informed of where I'm headed uh, a larger mount was always on my equipment roadmap, but it was much later. But at 68, uh, waiting until next year is is a risky strategy. Uh, you know, I think if I was a young man, you know, I could wait till next year. I could wait two years. But at 68, uh, there's a lot of risk in uh, saying, oh, I'll wait until next year. Um, so I tend now to think, no, uh, if I have the ability to pull the trigger, do it now. And uh, so that's uh, basically what I've done. But my approach is really um, defined by my age. Uh, if you're a much younger person, uh, you probably had the perception of a bit longer time horizon than, than I may have. So... Anyway, uh, 2022 is going to be the year where I dig into um, guiding and guiding errors more uh, than I have in the past. I will do some videos, I imagine, around it. Um, I'll share some of the questions that I'm seeing. I'll share some of the responses that I see on the different forum or fora when it comes to guiding error. What does it mean? Uh, what is the impact, uh, those type of things. Uh, but, but even here in just this one view of the guiding assistant, it says I have a 3.1 arc minute guiding error. Well, what does that really mean? Again, uh, when I look at the lights that I'm uh, capturing last year and even uh, recently uh, this year with three minute subs, um, when I uh, zoom in to the image, if the stars are still round, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, uh, I'm not being impacted as much by uh, guiding error, if at all. But I, I want to have the knowledge uh, to be able to really sort this all out, so that's where I'm uh, headed this year. So anyway, um, just wanted to give you a view of where I'm headed and what some of the content will be centered around. And then once I get the uh, EQ6R uh, uh, up and running and I'm confident uh, with it then I'll probably look to sell uh, my HEQ5 because I, I really don't see myself getting into uh, a situation where I'm trying to run two scopes at the same time. Now I do have two cameras. I have the ASI 294mm Pro and now I have the 
ASI 533 MC Pro. Uh, and I understand that Nina may have the capability to uh, handle multiple instances of imaging, but I think that might be just a little bit over the top. But who knows? You, you never know. Um, and uh, we'll just have to see. That, that's something that will unfold uh, as this year progresses uh, into uh, early uh, 2023. Okay, so if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any thoughts, uh, if you have some knowledge to share on what your perspective is around guiding error and what to be concerned about, uh, you know, where does pixel scale fall in, and those that type of information, please feel free to share in the comments. Um, you know, I learn a lot through your comments. I appreciate your comments, and keep in mind when you share knowledge in the comments of my videos, other beginners like myself have an opportunity to learn as well from, uh, from your comments, so they're always appreciated. All right. Well, again, if you like this kind of content, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up are very important to the channel. Uh, like, share, and subscribe is, you know, something I always like to say. Uh, other than that, thank you for dropping into uh, the channel. Thank you for taking time to view the videos. And thank you to those that have taken the time to uh, subscribe. Uh, truly appreciate that. And I look forward to producing uh, additional content. Uh, from a beginner's perspective in 2022. Other than that, till next time.